here we go yes it is here we go transfer market is open we are in the second day of the transfer market dear friend wherever you are you are highly welcome to the channel this is salon's blog and i'm welcome in a very special way well some transfer news for you this morning as you wake up wherever you are in africa all of, around the globe in fact asia here that i am in america canada in Europe or any part of the world you are, you are highly welcome to another beautiful day of transfer news. Transfer market is open, and in fact, clubs around Europe <laughs> they are just jostling for the players. The news are coming in quickly. So today I'll be giving you exclusives from all around Europe, exclusively. Now we are starting with Chelsea, and then we'll end with Chelsea. I hope you believe you understand what I mean. Yeah, well, of course we are blue. So we will start with Chelsea and then we'll end with Chelsea. Exactly so, because that is where we belong. Dear friend, Wesley Fofana, <laughs> Benoit Badeshelli, Axel Di Sassi, Jean Claire Todibo. How does this name sound in your ears? Ow, ow, ow. This name that I just mentioned, how does this name sound in your ear? Let me hear from you. Let me know. Chelsea are trying to transform the blues into Le Blue. You know when they say Le Bleu, Le Bleu, you know what that, what that means? Chelsea are trying to transform the blues into Le Bleu. The French revolution of the Stamford Bridge defense. The French revolution of the Stamford Bridge defense. If you heard the previous video, the one I did before now, I gave you detail of who Jean Claire Todibo is. He is a French international playing with Nice. And Chelsea are in serious talks to sign him up. If we succeed in getting him, that would mean our defense of Wesley Fofana, Benoit Badoshelli, Axel Di Sassi, and the newly one that we are working on to sign, Jean Claire Todibo, become the fourth French player to be in our defense. Yeah. And all these players, they are part of the French national team. They are not just. French, but they are part of the French national, national team. So Chelsea, <laughs> are we trying to turn our defense into Le Bleu? Is the question, my friend. Just to start on a, on a, on a jovial note, right? Okay, El Etihad and El Nassar are interested in signing Rafael Veran from Manchester United. A few days ago, we heard the news that they want to renegotiate Rafael Veran's uh, contract terms with Manchester. Manchester United want to renegotiate. They want to renegotiate their contract with Veran. As a matter of fact, they want to activate their clause for, for an extension of one year. But in that clause, they intend to reduce his wages. They intend to reduce his wages. That if he chooses to stay, then he will stay with a lower wage because he's playing time. You know, he's not having enough playing time or he's not being on the pitch for as that much time that they, he deserved. And partly because the system that Ten Hag is playing does not fit or suit him. Ten Hag doesn't like to use him. Not that the player is not fit enough. Not that Veran is not fit enough. I would personally would have loved to see Veran in Chelsea in our defense. With his experience, he won the Champions League, I think, twice, twice or thrice. Won the La Liga how many times? With Real Madrid. This is a Real Madrid player with experience. I would have loved to see him in Chelsea in that our defense. Yeah. And I mean it. I said it before. I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. But right now, it's in the news, transfer news that El Itihad and El Nazar are interested in signing him. We want to see this January. That those places, there are so, there's so much money, big money clubs. El Itihad and El Nazar. That's a big money club. So they can offer him even double of what Manchester United are, are giving him now. And they still want to reduce it. Yeah. We move on. Arsenal transfer news. Douglas Lewis swap demand. Ivan Tony to be offered contract, new contract. And Vlaovic, as well as Osimen. Yeah. It's in the news that actually came up a few days ago, last week. That Arsenal withdrew their, withdrew their interest from Victor Osimen. But now, now as we speak, Brentford are, are about to offer Ivan Tony a new contract 
That will include a release clause of 100 million pounds. Yes. A release clause of 100 million pounds. And so Arsenal will have to sell in order to buy. Arsenal are once again in the title race, but Mikel Arteta's side need reinforcement in this January after losing their way over the Christmas period with Ivan Tony a key target. But they will, before they can raise that 100 million to sell, to, they will have to sell. The January transfer window is officially open and all eyes are on Arsenal, likewise Chelsea, and their attempt to sign a striker. Ivan Tony is a long-term target for the Gunners, while it has also been suggested that they have renewed their interest in Dusan Vlaovic. Dusan Vlaovic, yeah. Victor Osimhen and Dominic Solanke are also options, but as of now, Victor Osimhen has been ruled out completely. I don't know much about Solanke. Elsewhere, members of Mikel Arteta's current squad could be set to depart with Rhys Nelson and Mohamed Elne, Eleni potentially leaving. In other news, Thomas Partey has been hit with a major blow after being excluded from Ghana's squad for the upcoming Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah, the, our manager, Ghana's team manager, Chris Hutton, the coach, explained the reason behind the, the, the reason why he excluded Thomas Partey due to the injury situations. In the last World Cup, Arsenal had to send their own medical doctor to follow Ghana team that was monitoring party's performances. And in fact, the last two competitions, even the, the last half is, I think similar thing happened. And so I believe our code doesn't want such situations again to happen. Whereas we are in camp training, we have Arsenal the technical unit or medical team also at the field. So they will have to be managing party. They cannot play full 90 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes, 45 minutes. The coach wants to prepare the squad, Ghana squad, for this AFCON. In this January, that will start from January 13th with a fully fit players. Yeah. A fully fit players. All right. So Thomas Party has been excluded from Ghana uh, team lineup or squad. All right. Brentford plot new Tony deal. Arsenal might be set to stumble into trouble as they attempt to seal a deal for Brentford striker Ivan Tony. I said it before. I said it before, but I'm, on, I'm going to read it for you directly. This is from Team Talk. According to Team Talk, the Bees want to tie their talismanic forward down to a new contract. A new contract. However, there is one caveat. <laughs> Uh, whenever a caveat comes in, you know that there's an issue. It is suggested that a release clause will be written into any renewal, renewed deal while there is an agreement that he could potentially be allowed to move on in the summer. In the summer, not now. So Arsenal have a long way to go in getting their man, Ivan Tony. Now back to Chelsea. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. In conclusion, Chelsea in the news, transfer news. Victor Osimen retain. Chelsea retain Osimen interest. Chelsea retains Osimen interest. While Arsenal are unlikely to make a move for Victor Osimen this month, the Napoli striker remains of interest to Chelsea. Unfortunately, he's also still on the radar of Ghana's Premier League. Okay. The Blues are long term admirers of Osimen and are partially to a signing or a two in this January. We reckon Osimhen definitely falls under the category of one to keep an eye on because it must happen. The possibility there is that Chelsea might get Osimhen, might agree on the terms with Napoli and with the player, but only to come through to Chelsea in the summer like we did with Nkuku. That is a greater possibility right now. Chelsea could reach an agreement with Osimhen and with Napoli, but he can only move in the summer. That will be May, May, June. But we are still waiting to hear updates. This is what I've been circulating in the news as last night and early this morning. Chelsea are trying to negotiate something. If they cannot get in this, this January, then it's going to be 
The agreement will be in place for May, June. That's in the, in the summer. Yeah, that is the latest on Victor Osimi. Chelsea fans, well, we cannot jubilate here. We cannot celebrate yet because we will have to wait until a concrete decision or a concrete agreement is reached. Then we can celebrate Victor Osimi coming to Chelsea. But it is a hot news, hot cake. You are the you are first to hear it from, from me. I am confirming to you that Chelsea are in talks right now as we speak. But the deal could be in a way that in the summer, Victor Osime will be in Chelsea, not in this January. Otherwise, we'll have to pay more. We'll have to pay more if we are to sign him in this January. That is how it is. Because right now, don't forget, we don't have an opportunity for Champions League football. And one of the key factors, one of the key issues that are being talked about right now is whether Victor will be able to play Champions League football next season. In fact, European football, not Champions League. So it could be Europa League. So long as it's European football, Victor, will be, Victor is okay with that. That is what we are hearing from some quarters. Yeah. All right, moving on. Before I leave you, Newcastle have inquired about the possibility of signing Andrew Santos from Chelsea. Andrew just came back from unsuccessful loan spell with, uh, I think, Nottingham Forest. Yes. But Newcastle have inquired about the possibility of signing him from Chelsea in this January transfer window, according to Jacob's Benz. According to Jacob Benz. Likewise, Borussia Dortmund are in advanced talks with Ian Madsen, having followed the Chelsea left back for a long time. His valuation is around 20 million euro. 20 million euro for Ian Madsen. Borussia Dortmund. That is very, a very strong interest. Currently, talks are ongoing regarding this deal. Yeah. And it's very possible this deal could be wrapped up as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Well, 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 to Liverpool fans, Liverpool top of Premier League table with 45 points in 20 games. Incredible. Newcastle have now lost seven out of eight last games in all competitions. On that note, I will see you in the next one. This has been the transfer news for you this morning as your breakfast. I'll see you in the next one when you see me. But remember, Victor Osimhen awesome to Chelsea, there is a possibility. Now, we are still trying to talk things through. I'll see you in the next one when you see me. It's still a brand new week and a brand new year. Happy New Year to you once again. Shalom and peace.